in a lot of the animations that we do, we it, it's good to use a reference image. And in the walk cycle animation, that's probably the best way to do it, and the easiest way. So in order to get a reference image in Blender, we need to open up this menu here on the side, click the plus or N on the keyboard to toggle that menu. And scroll down near the bottom, and it's called Background Images. If you check that and open it up by clicking the arrow, it says Add Image button, click it, scroll down, and we need to go find a reference image. So you'll either need to download it from Canvas, a walk cycle reference image, or Google it, Google walk cycle animation, and there will be lots of reference images. Uh, the one on Canvas I have chosen is the one of the better ones that I like. It's got the right amount of uh, key positions or keyframes. So navigate to your folder to find it. Mine is right there. I open it up, and now it's it's there, it's on the background, but we can only view it when we're in orthographic view and on a certain angle, side angle, front angle, top, etc. So if I hit 1 to go to a si uh, front view and 5 on the keypad, then there's my reference image right down there. Now I probably want it on a side view, so if I hit 3, it takes me to the side view. Now with Jonesy, um, if I hit 3 and he's looking to the left and the walk cycle is going to the right, as you can see, I can select all the bones. In fact, I'm going to go out of pose mode. If I go into object mode and then make sure everything's selected, if I go to a top view 7, I can rotate this R on the keyboard, R180, and it rotates 180 degrees, turns him around. That way, when I hit 3, now he's looking to the right. Otherwise, I could do Control 3, and that does the opposite. So then he would be facing right before I rotated him. Control 3. But I'm going to be hitting that a lot, so I would rather rotate him. Now, I'm going to move, I can move the position of the reference image since it's down there and Jonesy is up here. Uh, with these uh, coordinates right here, if I click and drag, I can move. I keep Jonesy in the same position that he's in originally, but I move the reference image to match Jonesy's position. And I can make it bigger as well. So make it about the size of the animation. It's not going to be perfect because Jonesy's head is a lot smaller than this animation head or this drawing's head. But I can get it somewhat close so the body matches up. I'm going to match it up with the first one. So now I have a reference image right behind Jonesy where I can see, okay, here's his back arm, here's his front arm, front leg, and back leg, and I'm just going to match that up, keyframe that, and move on to the next one by just moving it, oops, moving the Y position over to the next one, and keyframe that one, and so on.